Douglas, you need glasses. It says, hey, Douglas. Yes? No, over here. That's a fire hydrant. Did you hear that? Oh, Douglas, you really need glasses. Silly dog. Nancy and Douglas were chasing squirrels. At least Douglas thought he was chasing squirrels. Oh no. Douglas thinks this is me. You see, Douglas had always been a very nearsighted dog. His bad eyesight often got in the way of things. I don't think she can see the TV. Wet cement. Caution, caution, caution. He missed important signs. Look at his feet. Skate park. No dogs. Sometimes he even went home to the wrong house. That bull says Barney. Hello, Nancy? Oh, that dog is angry. But when a nice, innocent game of fetch, me, there goes the ball, ended in disaster. Oh no, what is that? A beehive instead of a ball. Yikes. Nancy said, That's it, Douglas. Come with me. Why are you taking me to a shoe store? asked Douglas. Says, Optician. Glasses. Sale. I exam. Douglas. This is the eye doctor, Nancy said. He is going to help you. Now, Douglas, said the eye doctor, tell me what you see. Dinosaur, said Douglas. Uh, crab? Flying saucer. Definitely a horse. Another dinosaur? That one's easy, said Douglas, a squirrel. Oh no. After the test, the eye doctor showed Douglas a cabinet full of glasses. Come on, Douglas, said Nancy, try some on. They have fashion glasses and novelty glasses and glasses for dogs and glasses for children. I wonder what he's gonna pick. At last, he found a pair that was just right. Perfect. Yay, he looks good. On the way home, Douglas said, wow, everything looks amazing. So exciting to see clearly. And it was Aw, sweetheart. <laughs> Look over here. I think that this dog needs to go to the eye doctor, too. And real kids wear glasses, too. Want to show us how you look in glasses, it says. So fun. Let's see what's on the back cover. He's painting the squirrel. Cute. The end.